Hanging out with our guest this evening is the one and only Mr. Booked and Busy Billy. Mm-hmm. Wow, Gwen. How you doing? I'm easy. Now, I don't understand why we still play Kanye. I mean, I understand why, but I also don't understand why. Damn, and I, I say this because Bill this is the biggest <laughs> Kanye fan. Like, I, I don't know, I don't know if you guys know this, yeah. but he loves Kanye. Like, What's if you go through his West? tweets, What's he he was even conflicted West? at the point when yeah. Kanye was like siding with Trump. He was all about that MAGA life. <laughs> so wasn't that a tricky point in your life? You know what? It's tricky. Mm-hmm. It's tricky. Like. And I didn't. I, 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 I was not supporting him at that point. Uh, but honestly, Kanye West has done so much for music. I, I know I'm. I'm not even gonna argue. With Wait. So do you feel the same way like that about R. Kelly? No, R. Kelly can go hungry. Oh my <laughs> God! Any <laughs> this person who didn't even he's not even siding with black people, <laughs> and you're still siding with him because of Sunday no, service. No, Lani is mad. Kanye West is mad, and I accepted that a long time ago. So. It's it's not something that I I don't know, but okay. musically, he's really talented. Musically, I dare you to name one person who has changed the game in the last fifteen years in in the same vein. Timbo, Pharrell. Nah. Pharrell Williams. Pharrell Pharrell is in that nini, but Timbo Timbo was more in the nineties. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Timbo was more in the nineties. <laughs> wow. And, and Pharrell is. Is not as eccentric a character. Car- Pharrell is more of a chilled out guy. So mm-hmm. it's like there's things about being eccentric the way Kanye is that pushes everything further. Yeah, but he complains all the time. He complains about black people all the time. Like I can't stand it. <laughs> like think about it. He complains when we don't buy his product, his whatever. Like he always is in, is in his feelings, which is a bit ridiculous. But 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 if you had a conversation with a lot of artists, they'll, they'll probably have something to complain about in okay. terms of when's the last time you saw a Beyonce co- interview you, you never hear her talk nah you don't she so controls you, her own so narrative you don't, mm-hmm. yeah, exactly so you don't know what she's thinking you don't know what she feels about a lot of stuff but I know they ain't but messing Nani, with Kanye Nani, <laughs> yeah but Kanye Jay-Z's new lease of life is because of Kanye okay Okay. In my opinion. Fine. It's like what <laughs> Blueprint 3, mm-hmm. a bunch, like even the way he shoots his videos now, the concepts that he uses was stuff Kanye was doing for My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. True. Like without Kanye in Jay-Z's, if you chuck Kanye from Jay-Z's discography, then it might have ended in 2004. Oh my God. You're doing the most. <laughs> Reaching. The most. You're like that guy who tweeted today that there was an Idris Elba in Kenya. You're like that guy. <laughs> You're like that guy. I'm, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> if I say something that uh, I need to be shot, yeah. it's because these guys have given me the truth serum. <laughs> so. Wow. Well, I like the way all artists, when they come here, they're like, the reason I'm saying this is because of <laughs> A, B, C, D. Because of A, B, C, D. They're to grown talk. adults. You can make their own <laughs> choices. <laughs> like, this is the record. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. They're like, hey. <laughs> marinette, marinette. Marinette. But that's how it is. And let me ask you this. If um, you were to be trapped on an island with Kanye, Unadani, what would he bring to the table to help you all survive? Do you mean I got to an island with Kanye? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But I don't know what to do. But I think we'll make some fire beats. Yeah. Oh. At the very least. Wow. Okay. 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 I'm like so. Speaking of beats, there was a uh, there's a tweet that you said that you sent out a beat to somebody. Yeah. And, and they sent about you. Yeah. A verse. Yes. Yeah. So Sue Tuambi Atuni Nani, just give us the hey, CD. Hey, you only top CD. <laughs> it's sour. Because, because <laughs> mm-hmm. I actually I I sent it as a joke, and then they hit. That was Wednesday last week, mm-hmm. and on Friday they hit me up and they're like, "Yo, this beat is sick. I want I want it." Then the next morning. They already, I think they're in London right now. Mm-hmm. So they recorded a v- verse and then sent it to me. And then yesterday I sent the stems, so it's going into the album. Oh wow! So which is, so I can't really name who it is, but it's. Is it an international artist? It is an international Fantastic. artist. Fantastic! So it's, I love it's, that. It's it's someone that I really really like. Ah, uh, I've already. Mm-hmm. I know who it is. Nani Sema Basi Assume Beckham. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 How did the Nipsey Hussle passing impact you? Um, it's something that I've been thinking about a lot lately. Um, 
Nipsey Hussle, um, Mark Miller. Uh, did you, what's the name? It's disappearing. The name is disappearing. But anyway, uh, life is short. And in as much as I want to make music, I also want to be of impact in society, you know. And that like there's a lot of things Nipsey Hussle was doing behind the scenes that I didn't even know about up until he died. And so it's very it's very encouraging, you know. Yeah. It's very inspiring to see someone empowering the community, to someone who's trying to make leave it better than than they found it. And that's what I, I genuinely believe that we're here for. Is like we can make all the music we want we can make all the dope movies we want we can but if the best thing that we could possibly do particularly in a country like this where there's a lot of uh weird and annoying things that happen mm-hmm. even like the best thing that we could do on an individual level is leave it better than we found it so definitely inspiring i love that okay yeah and i really like that and uh just talking about um, um music wise and you just uh, being a producer yeah. um can you can you tell us some people you've sent beats to <laughs> and they've said no. Hey, no. Hey, I love you. Hey, hey, you know, maybe at, at the beginning of your career, maybe you send people beats or you are interactive with them and they yeah. didn't respond to you the way you wanted. I love you. in 2019. You album, you rule the streets, you have David Booked Beckham. Booked and busy. Yeah, you have South Africa. You know, you know what's so funny? Uh, yeah. Dej was reminding me this the other day. Like... I used to make beats in my mom's house. And it's mm-hmm. like my mom's house is not bi- it's not big. It's like a simple house. But I used to have a corner in the sitting room where I'd make beats. And then Dej came through to the house with Wiry. Wow. What? And and then Dej was like, "Yep, play you. <laughs> play us some beats." <laughs> <laughs> Play us some beats, <laughs> and I froze. For I'm real? like, I can't. I don't even know what I could play. Yeah, these guys. So I didn't <laughs> play them anything. Wow. I. It's. It's. Yeah. We have to be thankful for God. <laughs> you know. You know. One thing that I absolutely love about Blinky Bill. Mm-hmm. He might not know that I pay attention to this, but consistently, and um, a lot of the performances that he does in the two five four, he's all about the Denzel line that I always use: uh-huh. "Lift as you climb." Yes. If there's one person that he consistently brings out, should I even say who it is, Bill? Because you know who it is. Tell me who I bring. Sichangi. Sichangi. <laughs> like Samuel Sichangi is definitely a person. If you are not aware of him, mm-hmm. you need to be aware of him. He's an amazing producer. He's an amazing artist as well. So I really love that you always bring him out on your shows, especially yeah. when you're in Nairobi. Yeah. You've also put him on to Red Bull as well. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm just trying to understand. Uh, you've talked about leaving behind, like you know, things that people will remember you for, yeah. and the fact that you have brought out Sichangi, and people will remember those things. Yeah. So, what are other things that you want other people to remember you for, Bill? Guy. Two things. Two things. Hey. that meme for the president. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Guy. No, like. De- definitely if i see someone that mm-hmm. is dope mm-hmm. like i will do everything to make sure that they're put on because also like correct maybe you can correct me if i'm wrong but we are in a society that is very uh kanyaga mtungine yes and i i don't like that Nini, because it's 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 the wrong it's the wrong base to set our standard zone so like i was the first Mm -hmm. kenyan to actually east african to be on the red moon music academy the next guy is my protege sichangi and it's like that makes me feel good because it's like i'm not there by myself Mm -hmm. it's like and then he has so much life so much time ahead of him Mm -hmm. so he can do a lot of things but just in terms of even just opening up the scene to new sounds because and like when for example with just a band when we came in there was nothing that sounded like just a band nothing mm-hmm. nothing True. and so eventually people might forget that or people will remember that but we 
made sure that we did the thing that we care about and so that for me is what makes me happy is like when i see people doing th- stuff that they care about mm-hmm. and stuff that they enjoy doing that's dope it's like you when i see you enjoying posting co- your cooking mm-hmm. it's like someone would think that it's such a it's a small thing but it's not it gives you joy mm-hmm. and in you enjoying it like you're making other people happy I as like that. it's a beautiful yeah. thing so we need more of that that is Love so hey sh- i'm going to my gems need a drink hey look at the Style of music that Blueface has, where he's just talking on a beat, and guys are saying, "Oh, it's not hip hop. Oh, you should do better. Oh, Sijui, come back with a, a bit of content." And uh, we're experiencing that same case uh, scenario right here in Kenya, Blinky. Yeah. Where what was so nice, mom? Oh, Atuna sound. This sound does not have a, a particular name. You know, like the ethic, the Ochungulo. What's so nice, We love this sound, but. It doesn't have a particular name and uh, i feel i feel the same when it comes to to like music from kenya we have different kinds of sound you understand yeah. can you just talk about the new generation of music in kenya man i think i think people expect a lot for a country that had to have a competition to get a national dress <laughs> you expect a lot from like the musician should have all the answers man mm-hmm. calm down calm down come down oh wait 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 so when you say all the musicians should have all the answers let me just change the tangent just a little bit change the tangent my dear let's let's be very honest yes there's a lot that's been happening with our government you know um with the things that they're implementing there's been a little bit more artists speaking about it do you ever feel like you're going to ever speak about some of the things you ever feel like you're going to be part of the revolution of let's say let's say your nieces your kids that are going to experience that you know when you look at countries like Algeria Egypt yeah. Yeah. revolting yeah. don't you not feel like maybe your music like how Nina Simone speaks on how our music should be conveying a message yeah. how do you feel about that yeah if you've listened to my projects from day one mm-hmm. you'll know that I'm, I sneak in <laughs> I sneak in things in there. If you listen to Ha Hey, mm-hmm. on the beginning of the second verse, mm-hmm. I say some things. But also, I think the thing is is this: is if we listened a lot more to like, there's a lot of artists who say things, but because we are used to a lot of gimmicky stuff. Mm-hmm. then it becomes like everything needs to be in a gimmicky form interesting and i'm just like it exhausts me because i'm not a gimmicks person it's like i'm minim sani yeah so for i think maybe it's for me sometimes i feel like it's a message in the bottle for the next generation okay because maybe the the ones who will listen but it's like some cuz I've said a lot of stuff. If you have five albums now. Mhm. And in all those albums I've said something. Yeah. As like you like maybe maybe the day I'm gone is when people will know ah. what I'm saying. I don't know. But that that's sometimes how I feel like because for Kenyans we are not used to paying attention to our artists when they are alive. Mm-hmm. So it's like Isa like his impact became magnified when he was gone. Yes. It's like now everyone's like yeah man we've never had an artist like this. We have artists who are doing stuff. True. Yeah. So let me ask you this uh, recently kuna kuna wasi walikuwa nakupiga photo ukiwa na a certain celebrity na wako kwa nakupiga vizuri so you put out a tweet uh, saying ask someone to take a pic of me with Beckham uh, they took this and it's like i can't even see if this it was is so blurry can you, <laughs> about, can you talk about can you talk about that for can you talk about that for a second because yeah, yeah, yeah. this is not the first time you you've had um, an amazing guest in inside the crowd You've had it here in Kenya. You had a comedian come through and then you've had the same success pale inje. First let's talk about this pick. Nike pick was blurry before we talk about that success. You know it was funny. I was in South Africa mm-hmm. a week and a half ago. I was playing this show. And then I was like, "Wait, 
is that David Beck? <laughs> so you saw him? <laughs> yeah. That was just <laughs> like, nah. That was, wait, it's Beckham. I'm like, okay. That's like, I saw him at the event. Then, just before I went on, so I was like, yo, go say hi to Beckham. And then I went, and we talked to Kidogo. Mm-hmm. And then I went on stage and performed. And the guy stayed for my show. That's and amazing. And after... He's like, we talked for a little bit more. Nice. I was like, wait, Beckham stayed for my show. My goodness. And then in December, Hannibal Barres mm-hmm. was in Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Yep. I was like, he came to my show. I was like, now we still talk. I'm just like, man. Like, <laughs> So sometimes when people tell me, hey, but I'm not for mainstream. I'm just like, man, I'm so blessed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so I'm blessed. Like, I'm not even worried about I, that. I'm not worried about that. My mother's prayers are coming. My mother's prayers are coming yes. through. I don't so need nice. to be mainstream, bro. Yeah, so do you man. care about being called underrated? No. No. I'm only underrated by... Anyway, ni siyonge. What else siyonge? Wale watu wana ni underrated. Wana jijua. Wana jijua. Na mwonge na mungu tafadhali. Mwonge na mungu tafadhali. And... Because mungu halali. Mungu halali, yeah. And Blinky, Mother's Day is just around the corner. Um and you, you you spoke about your your mom and making beats in her house yeah. um what what are some of the things yani be as just appreciate your mom mother's day karibu kufika so just appreciate your mom talk about some things alikufanyia cuz yeah. kama mimi najua lilipigwa viboko nyingi slippers ya red na jua ni mbaya kuliko ya blue you know cuz of mom you understand so yeah. just just talk about that shed some light on that situation yeah. i think the reason i'm here is because of my mom for sure i i, I won't even like front it's like we had arguments about when i was becoming a musician mm-hmm. and she was super super mad but then later she got it and then nowadays she's like i she wakes up at 4 a.m to pray for me nice i'm just like when i see things happening in my life i know it's because at the very least there's someone who has got me you know yeah that's amazing and yeah that's that's like my my heart like everything good that i would want to be in life is envisioned in my mom okay so embodied in my mom that's super beautiful i want to say um once before we get into the warm-up <laughs> cup is something like this i'm pretty sure there's an artist out there who's probably listening to you and wondering one thing yeah how does blinky book all these gigs across the globe you don't have to give us all the like formula. However, I had a conversation with somebody who books like uh, a lot of artist gigs. Yeah. And is it because you have so many networks in different places or do you feel like it's actually just your mom's blessings that people are like, "Eh, hey, to get to your blinky bill." <laughs> yeah, but like I've been doing this for this going to be my 12th year. Mm-hmm. Um so it's a mix of and that, that's what I was telling you guys earlier. Like whoever it is that you come across like you need to treat people well you know it's like i have a show in new york next next month and it was someone who i worked with in 2013 and we like i didn't even remember that guy Damn. it's like we we did i did a project for them and then it went out and it was not successful but then a few weeks ago he calls me he's like the boss of this organization and he calls me i was in i think i was in paris he calls me and he's like yo we have a big event in new york next month and i want you to come dj and you can play your music as well i'm like i don't even remember like when i last spoke to this guy but i think every every relationship and i'm not saying that you need to do this as a but it's like you need to be genuine as well mm-hmm. and you need to know people for who they are but yeah so it's it's a it's, it's a mix of you need to be able to be good at your craft okay and be a decent human being okay. particularly for where we are because we are not at the level where we, we give ourselves a chance well, okay. okay, well, does that uh, no. just happen? <laughs> no, no, no. Let's give him a little bit of a breather. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, uh, kumbuke ya kukwa radio show. Hey, 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 uh, before oh, oh, <laughs> God, sorry, sorry. Hey. 
So Blinky Bill on the warm-up 98.4 Capital FM, Neville on Mandy and hits African Giant Katikati here to Blinky Bill. What does the question say? If you could get sex tips from any Kenyan celebrity, first of all, <laughs> who would it be? Hey, hey. 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 Would you go tips to a celebrity in Kenya? I think that would be Kai and Kaz Loka. Yes, the spread <laughs> podcast. That's a good one. Oh wow. Okay. Sawa. Kai and Kaz. Um we I would quickly call Willy Paul. I would quickly up here. She saw us. <laughs> what does the next question say Blinky? What three oils you can moisturize your beard, beard with? Uh happen to neither to me. Uh, shea butter mm-hmm. and she in it was shea butter to neither to me a coconut oil okay <laughs> to neither to me a <laughs> olive oil Ish. <laughs> <laughs> Ish. I was watching to be a casabon casabon but I took a rather sana to let to see in the lake caribou have you ever I uh, see as you to the shaji okay yeah, sour pick another one uh-huh. The last text you got from one of your rapper artists. Go hey Blinky from one of your artist friends. I hope ni ile verse ulirudishiwa. Actually it's from Sichangi. Oh. What does he say? Like, Bro, apply to get your account verified on the app. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you care about those blue ticks like being verified? No. No, it's not a big I deal. Don't. Okay. I, I really don't. Okay. <laughs> be, be, before you go I want to ask you about the Emirates ad. It's 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 really been causing um yani kila msikila pale anasema oh on YouTube I don't skip certain ads especially here ya Blinky. How do you feel? How did that come about and how do you feel about it? Man, it's like uh, man <laughs> blessings are mom. Blessings are mom. Man there. <laughs> it's like it's it's crazy because I think ordinarily they go for way bigger artists. Mm-hmm. And um like there's people who are messaging me from all over the continent now it's like I'm I've checked out your stuff and this song should be on Spotify nice it it came out up about they hit up my management like w- when my project came out mm-hmm. and they're like we'd like to work with Blinky and he can make the music for it and then they gave me free reign to make the music Sheesh. I was like you know okay then sasa hapo ndio tunaongea because sometimes people come at me with expectations mm-hmm. of what they want me to make okay. i'm like i don't work like that nice so it it, it it's worked really well and i'm i'm just i'm just very excited and humbled oh. you I know like what that. yeah mm-hmm. i'm really looking forward to the more blessings that are coming blinky's way yeah. i'm looking forward to all the shows mm. that are coming blinky's way i can't believe we've gotten to the top of the hour no 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 check if you can keep time yeah we'll be here winning now as we as we you need you need nairobi city council to figure out a way for me to leave my house at 7:30 and get to town by 8 o'clock yes it's possible in other countries i don't see why it's impossible in Nairobi it's yes. like it's, it's, it's so, like it's, it's not rocket science it's not rocket science it's, it's such like, an inconvenience it's like my house is not 5 kilometers away i should be able to leave my house at 7:30 get on a train get to the city at 7:54 bus yo i would love to keep chopping it up with a blinky so i'm going to ask you one question tena repeat repeat uko ready for part 2 Uliza, 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 ah, uliza yeah. ujibiwe. Aha, uh-huh. so tena repeat, repeat. Brap, repeat, repeat. Mm-hmm. repeat. Aha. Uh-huh. Anyway, we want to thank him so much for coming through, giving us the vibes. Lastly, aj, aj. Neville Amekwama Sama, he can cook better than me. You have eaten my food. <coughs> I will make him eat the humble, humble pie to you. Eh, bana wewe utakula tu hewa. Mandi na benda bile una 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 ka gang flow. Haina no. Una kula food yangu wewe unadhani wewe ni wewe pekee. Bro utakula hewa. Hapo hapo compare ni compare. Bro safi twende kleptomaniacs era.